everyone, I hope everybody's doing well. Today I'll be filming a makeup look that I got inspired off Kylie Jenner on Snapchat and on Instagram. She's just done a recent photo shoot where she's wearing like latex pink bikini, a one suit and she's got mad pink makeup on and I was just really feeling the vibe off her. This is what I came up with. If you want to know how I got this look, please keep watching. So today I'll be filming a makeup look that was inspired by Kylie Jenner's Snapchat and also her Instagram. I've seen a few posts. She's got this very purplish pinkish soft really blended eye look and also really pink minimal contour minimal highlight cheeks and very pink lips as well I'll show you the picture as well that I'm getting my inspiration off and I just wanted to recreate that look because I don't know I'm kind of feeling pink myself <laughs> so this is the look that I am going for like I said it's very pink obviously I don't have the blonde hair but we'll see how we go and as always I've done my base makeup as well and I'll just show you what I've done for that so before anything I went in with my benefit it's potent eye cream you guys know my skin you guys know that it's really dehydrated and also my concealer doesn't tend to crease when I put an eye cream on that's really thick like the benefit it's potent and after that I went in with my professional from the benefit I have really enlarged pores I am doing my skincare to reduce those pores and also I'm looking for any other skincare that you guys would recommend that I would try that reduces pores so if you do please leave in the comments down below because I am sick of my pores I have enlarged pores all the way down to my cheeks, my chin, my nose, and it's horrible. Like, I hate it. And for my primer, I went in with my Tony Molly Flash Primer. I purposefully chose this today because it's very soothing, very light in texture, as I know that my foundation and my concealer that I've chose today especially was very thick in texture. So I wanted to go with something really refreshing, and Tony Molly is the way to go for that one. Today I did try something very new to me. I went and picked up the Australis Liquid Strobe Eliminating Drops, and I picked up the pink and the gold one. They were on special. They came down to $22 in total, so they were $11 each. And I know they're about $20 originally in Australia. Very, very beautiful with what it does. It does really illuminate the skin. I used it in combined with my foundation, only because I just didn't want to highlight just on my cheeks. I wanted it everywhere, and I wanted this look to look really luminous, really glowy and healthy as well. All in all, perfect product. I haven't tried the gold one yet. The pink one is absolutely amazing. It does honestly deliver. I mean, it's Australis. You can't go wrong. And for my foundation, obviously I went in with my Maybelline Matte and Poreless in the shade 220. I am going to go by the Australis Stay Put because back when I was in high school, that's all I used. And honestly, it was the best foundation as far as my knowledge went to back then. At the moment, this is all I have. This is my baby. This is my ride or die and my go-to. Like there is no other foundation that I reach out for when I'm going for a day look, a night look, um, an evening look. Like it doesn't really matter for me. But I will definitely be doing a tutorial with the Australis Stay Put 16 hour and also when get their other one the oh, glow or something that really caught my eye at price line I will definitely be doing a tutorial on those two very soon for my concealer today I use the it cosmetics bye bye under eye concealer in the shade natural medium this is very thick like it's a very full coverage very thick it's nothing like the fit me concealer nothing like the master conceal nothing like any other concealer I've ever tried if you really want a thick concealer and you've had a really bad night's sleep honest to god no joke I'm not even exaggerating the bye bye under eye bite cosmetics is the way to go I use this on my auntie she's a middle-aged woman and she was really concerned about the bags underneath her eyes and also the dark circles underneath her eyes I mean she's a mother of four and looks after foster kids as well so her sleeping schedule is completely out of whack and when I use this on her for my sister's engagement she was absolutely stunned by the job it delivered to her so if you guys are looking for a really thick concealer that hides all imperfections and cancels out the discomfort coloration or the dark circles or whatever it may be this little bad boy is the way to go as always to set my face I use my Australia's fresh and flawless pressed powder foundation in the shade medium tan I do want to try the other shades but this one works with every single skin tone light to medium that I know of every single client that I've had I use this little bad boy on them and I never went wrong please 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 if you guys haven't tried a pressed powder or a setting powder for that matter go out and buy yourself one of these little bad boys they're amazing they're absolutely amazing for my brows, there's nothing different. I used my Essence Designer Brow in the shade 01 Black. I don't have anything else that I can use for my brows as my hair is really dark and my eyebrows and eyelashes are really dark. There's no point in me using a light or a dark brown because it looks really off, especially on camera and especially in photos. You can totally see through and see the dark brown or the light brown color. So I've got no other choice but to use a black color and to use a really dark setting color as well. So I found nothing else that works better for me other than the Essence Designer Brow. 
it's only $2. You're not going to lose anything if you buy it and try it as well. So go ahead and go out and buy it and try it. I know that Priceline and Target stock Essence Cosmetics. Also, if you guys know how to get the Essence Cosmetics delivered to Australia because they don't have that option on their website, please let me know in the comments down below. I really want some of their stuff that they've got there on the website and that of the Priceline and Target don't stock or is out of stock when I go out and try to buy them. So please leave them in the comments down below if you know how to deliver these to Australia through the actual website. So now time for my bronzer and I'll be using the Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade 30 Satin Bronze. Over here it says that it's satin soft blush for a fresh looking complexion all day long and that really does deliver what it says on the packaging at the back. I use a 40 Natural Beauty and I use one of their blushes as well. You guys know that I love Essence. It's really, really, really inexpensive. It's very affordable, very high quality in their products and the packaging is absolutely adorable. And to use this, I'll be going in with my Napoleon Purtis BR22 brush. The look that I am going for today has minimal contour, so I'm not going to contour my face as much. Yes, I'll leave a little natural shadow to my face, but the main purpose of this is to be very pink on the face. So that's as far as I'll go with my contour. One dab, excess off, and just blend it out. That's a very natural sort of shadow over there. And just for the sake of it, I will also be contouring underneath my jawline and my forehead as well. And then to sharpen out that contour a lot more, I'll be going in with my Dermablend Professional Setting Powder, Translucent Setting Powder. This works wonders. I have So you guys know that I highlight before I put my blush on. That way I find that it like sort of melts into one another a lot easier than rather putting your blush than highlight on. The highlight sort of sits on top of the blush. And I don't really like that look. I like it to look like it's melted into the skin or has an ombre effect. So for my highlight today, I'll be using my MAC Soft and Gentle. I bought this but I haven't used it as much as I would have liked to, only because I do reach out for the BH Cosmetics Blacklight Highlighting Kit or the Moonchild Highlighting from Anastasia. And I just wanted to change things up a little bit today and try something different. And I've heard that, obviously from beauty gurus or YouTubers like Jacqueline Hill, like Manny MUA, that this does wonders. I'm going to first apply it with just a dry brush and then if I'm not happy with the glow that it gives, I'll be putting a setting spray on top of that. So it definitely does give a really subtle glow as the name does say, soft and gentle. But it does seem to be buildable as well. It's really pretty. It's really natural, really healthy looking. Yeah, so it definitely is buildable. That was three layers on top of one another without any setting spray or anything. And it looks lovely. And then just on the back of my ring finger, I'll just be putting a little dab on the tip of my nose. So we'll just be wiping away that baking over there and as you can see it's already defined by contour a lot more without me having the need to use more product. So for my blush today I'll be using the MAC She Tone Shimmer Blush in the shade Dolly Mix. As you guys saw in the photo of Kylie Jenner it is a very pink look. The look focuses on the blush being pink and the eyeshadow being pink and her swimsuit as well. So I thought that the Dolly Mix would be the perfect. As you guys can see, it's very pink. It's very opaque and very pigmented. A little bit goes a long way and thought we couldn't go wrong. I'll give you guys a little swatch. So that's the shade over there and on the back of my hand, it goes very pink as well. When applied with a brush, Bob's your uncle, honestly. As you guys can see, I am buffing this into my skin. I am not definitely just swiping it in like I would with a paintbrush. So I'll just be buffing it in round circular small motions. And then to highlight underneath my eyes because I do feel like I have got a lot of product on there right now, I'll be using my Australis Quincy Contouring and Highlighting Kit and I'll just be using the Powder Banana Shade there with my Real Techniques Setting Brush. And also running that along my contour, underneath my contour as well. Now time to go on with my eyes. I've got two BH Cosmetics palettes. One's the Studio Pro Dual Effect Wet Dry Eyeshadow Palette. And the other one is the Special Occasion Third Line Color Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. So that's what that one looks like and I'll show you what's inside. Because this is a very pinkish purpley sort of look, that's the colors over there. Thinking of sort of sticking on the blush side. So I'll first start off with the 39 color eyeshadow palette and I'll do my eye base. So I'll be using the white shade over here and I'll come a little closer so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. My camera is coming from overseas. My auntie will be bringing it very soon so I'll be able to zoom in everything. But for now, we're going to have to deal with this 
very very pigmented as you guys know I am in love with the BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes and all of their products in general so that's just one base white shade and you can really tell the difference of the two eyes over there so my fiance went and bought me these two Real Techniques brush sets he knows I love them so I'm going to just unbox one of them at the moment or maybe I'll just unbox the two of them so it comes with an exclusive Real Techniques white blush roll oh it's so cute it's tiny I'll definitely be using this it's really good for when you go traveling as well and then it comes with three brushes they're very beautiful and they are the 300 tapered blush brush, 102 triangled concealer brush, and the 203 tapered shadow brush. So I'll be making use of the 203 tapered shadow brush. And first off, I'll be going in with this really warm tone blush that you see right there. We're using that as a transition shade. So I'm just gonna go right underneath my crease with that one, and I'll just be using window wiping motions for that. When there's barely anything on the brush, I'll definitely go up into my brow bone. And we're bringing this all the way to the high inner corner of your eye because it is a very blended out pink look. And then to go ahead with the pinks, I'm going to be using this pink shade right over here. And definitely be incorporating this on top of the eyelid as well. And then from the Studio Pro palette, I'll be using just that purple shade you see right over there. Because it's not a straight pink, it's more of like a, it's got a tinge of purple in there. And then now to deepen up the purple a little bit more, I want to go in with that shade you see right over there. Now with this, it is very pigmented, so I'm just going to dab my brush in there. As you guys can see, very, very pigmented with the blush. Now that makes this off. Hold my brush by the very tip and buff this in very slightly. And then with more firmness on my brush, I'll go in on top of my eyelid. And then with any bullet brush, I'll be going in with that very first camel shade that we used and I'll be focusing this on the bottom half of my eye and bringing that all the way in. I'm not going light handed with this, I want it to look very smoky. But then with that pink shade that we used last, I'll be doing the same thing on the bottom half as well. But with this shade, I'm not bringing it in, I'm only going three quarters of the way. Now with the very first Y shade that we use, I'll run it along my underneath my brows again, just to give it more of a highlight. And then for my inner corner, I'll be using that very first shade on the Studio Pro palette, except with this shade, I'll definitely be spraying it with some setting spray. So I'm using my Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz, and I've already got my pigment on there, giving that a generous spray and focusing this on the inner corner. So basically, we're done with the eye look. Set my lash glue down to go tacky a little bit, and while we're waiting for that, I'll just go ahead and set my brows as well. So I'll be using my Chi Chi Fiber Brow in the shade Medium Brown, and just focusing this on the tips of my brow, and then run it along generously. And then to set them, you guys all know, I'll be using my Maybelline Brow Jammer in the shade Dark Brown. So now before I put my falsies on, I'll definitely be going in with some mascara and I'll be using my Essence Get Big Lashes Volume Boost Waterproof Mascara and I'll just be applying a thin coat of this. And then later on, I'll definitely go underneath on my lower lashes as well. So the look that Kylie has on her lips is very pink, again, more baby pink than anything. So I thought I'd be using my Essence Lip Liner in the shade 12 Wish Me A Rose. So now I'll be applying a layer of white gel eyeliner on my waterline and I'll be using my Napoleon Purtis China Doll Gel Eyeliner in the shade Yang. Now time for my lashes. So I'll be using the L Diana False Eyelashes from eBay and the closest thing to what the look Kylie has on her photo. This is in the style LD202 and I will definitely link them in the down bar below. That's what they look like. Again, they're very fluffy. So that's the lashes over there. Like I said, they're very, very fluffy, very thin and very wispy as well. So I'll just pop my lashes on and I'll be right back with you guys. So now that my lashes are on, I've run along and put mascara 
go on the bottom half of my eyelashes as well. And now I'll be going in with my liquid lipsticks. So I know that Kylie didn't use anything other than her own brand for her lips. So I'll be going in with the Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Candy K. All over my lips and then I'll go in with a lighter shade for an ombre effect. So once that dries, I'll definitely be going in with a lighter shade on top of it and I'll be using the NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Lace Detail. And I'll just be popping her right in the center of my lip. And then with my ring finger, I'll just be buffing that out. Now lastly, I'll be spritzing my face with my Australis Makeup Finishing Spritz. This is, it's wonderful. It smells like roses. What has got in it? With aloe vera and rose water. Aloe vera, you guys know, is very hydrating and rose water is very, very good for your skin. You can put this on in the daytime, nighttime, before you go to bed, which I occasionally do. Just before I go to bed after my skincare routine or if I've put on a mask that day, I have definitely go in with some of my Australis uh, Spritz and then hop into bed and I'm perfect for the morning. So this is my end result. I am really happy with how it did turn out. I didn't get quite the colour that I really wanted to, but that was only because I didn't have the lavender purpley sort of shades she's used. But nevertheless, it is inspired by her, not a replica of her. And I did like how it turned out. I love the way the ombre on the lips looks so amazing. I love the way the pink actually looks good with my hair and my complexion. And I just love it all in general. So if you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did filming it, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and family. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye guys.